Hey guys, welcome. Okay. Uh, so, there is some kind of new event at... Here at Honkai. Uh, Rosemary's Floriograph. So, I don't know what this is about, so let's go and check it out. It was indeed a tragic scene. The merciless rain poured down, but the remaining fires were still relentless, burning all over the ruins. The building that was once called home had been wrecked and was almost unrecognizable. The bright full moon in the sky was witnessing everything, cruelly and soundlessly. The girl opened her mouth weakly. Raindrops moistened her dry throat. To her surprise, the rain tasted a bit sweet. The three hideous lacerations on her chest looked like scores by a claw. The rain diluted blood formed a puddle, an undoubtedly fatal injury. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. In this horrifying scene of devastation, the girl somehow started to hum a Mother Goose nursery rhyme. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. The air was filled with the odors of mud and ash and the scent of a certain type of plant being slightly burnt. Uh, it just autom I just automatically sang the right, you know. It's something that everyone should know. The girl knew this scent. Could this be Luna Kindred? Build it up. Oh. <laughs> Build it up with iron and steel, iron and steel, iron and steel. It's from a flowering plant named rosemary. Its bloom has a soothing fragrance. I know this is uh, Rita's uh, rosemary battle suit though. Build it up with iron and steel, my fair lady. She and Joey would never forget the taste of the burger patties seasoned with rosemary made by their big sister. Sis, Joey. The girl who accepted her fate of death realized the reason to live. She struggled to raise her hand to the moon. Please help us. The rain kept pouring down on her, mercilessly taking away her remaining body temperature. But the girl did not care. She was still firmly reaching out her hand, begging in a hoarse voice to the moon. Please, at least save Joey. But it was only a futile effort of the dying. The gleam of moonlight in the girl's eyes deemed eventually. However. Ah, you're still alive. Oh, it's, uh, it's well. A man took her hand that was weakly hanging in the air. Her vision was already so blurred that she could barely see anything, but for some reason, the man's face was clear. She knew that face, but it became strange due to the regret of contentment, loss, anger, and some other emotions on it. Unrecognizable, but awfully clear. Because he, like her, was standing on the cliff edge surrounded by the whispers and hysterical laughter of the monsters in the abyss below. Sensei? Yes, it is I. Thank you. You're still alive. Thank you. I'm so sorry. So sorry. She didn't know what he was thanking her for. He immersed himself in emotions, repeatedly begging for forgiveness. My sister, is she... She's fine, and her leg injury is getting better. You'll get better too, I promise. This obvious lie, Sema put a smile on the dying girl's face. No need, I know my own body. There's no hope for me at this point. I'm sorry, if only I could find out earlier. But he knew that already, what already happened could not be undone. No need to apologize, Sensei. I won't. Forgive you anyway. The cruelty of her words was conveyed via her weak voice. I resent you as much as how I used to trust you. But if you're determined to save someone, please. I promise. Save Joey. Save Joffrey. 
The man responded without thinking, but the sincerity in his words could be heard. Keep your promise, Sensei. It's a promise and also a curse. Ah, uh, I will. I promise to let him die as a human, even if it means I may have to exchange my soul with the devil. I promise. The man repeated as if he was trying to leave his weakness all behind. His resolution was inundated by the rain. It was hard to tell whether it was rainwater or tears of remorse on his face. While the girl, whose hand was being held by him, had soundlessly fallen into eternal slumber. I wonder who the girl it who the girl was. Everyone is a difficult puzzle, but when countless individuals are put together, pa patterns will emerge. You can predict one person's personality, but you still know the common features of humanity. Personalities of different individuals vary, but the commonalities will never change. For example, it is humanity's karma to believe in lies, jewelry, deities, stories to name a few, which is why I chose to become a novelist. Conan, Conan Doyle? My name is Conan Doyle. I am a doctor. I am now walking up the stairs to the study on the second floor of my clinic. If I remember correctly, in Ho here in Honkai, Conan Conan Doyle is 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 a woman. Well, at least here in Honkai Impact, this has nothing to do with reality, okay, or or anything. I'm about to meet a very special guest who is neither my friend nor my informant, but has just experienced a perilous journey with me not long ago. She holds intel that I failed to decipher after all. It's, ab it's about the disturbing serial killings that took place in St. Fountain, the desolate city. Oh, uh, I think I remember the St. Fountain. Though my investigation has unveiled the ins and outs of the incident, there is still something disquieting about it. Uh, if I remember correctly, St. Fountain was... Uh, I think it was the hometown of... Uh, of... Of Otto and Callan, I think. Well, that's from what uh, chapter I have at least unlocked. But I haven't, I haven't progressed much in the story mode. So I accidentally just accessed those chapters because they were unlocked at the time. The, uh, where was I? I finished the 17 steps that lead up from the hall to the second floor, swallowed hard and reached for the door handle. It's still before the appointed time, but according to my landlady, my charming guest has arrived half an hour ago. I know you want something from me. Her confident, breezy manner is sending me a message. Ha! Huh. So it's all about how much the bargaining chip I have in my hand is worth. This woman is indeed a tough opponent. To find her motive, I have to sort out the entire case from the beginning. I slowly turned the door handle. Well, now I, it looks like the hand is uh, is a male, so maybe I was wrong. I think I'm going to look over the stigmata. Looks like this night will be longer than I expected. Welcome to Fallen Rosemary's Dream Story. Waiting for you ahead is an uncanny serial murder case and the even more uncanny truth behind it. The case records to play story stages and investigate the case as Conan Doyle, the novelist, to reveal the truth. Okay. The daily investigation play daily investigations and EX stages to get event, tokens, evidence, level buffs, and plus to boost a Valkyrie. Well, let's jump to the case records. Oh, the distinguished detective Mr. Holmes is reading the newspaper on the train. He's a poison organized man. <laughs> so it's not much more of that. So apparently this, uh... oh, but they, it's, it's Fuwa, but the, uh, the pronoun is still a he. 
He rarely stays up late in the morning. He always finishes breakfast and awaits his clients before I even get up. So I guess... So I guess it's still, uh... Well, whatever. Sherlock Holmes is not... <laughs> This unique Londoner of server has a marvelous ability to analyze anything with his intuition. It's so funny looking at <laughs> at Pua and calling calling her um him <laughs> Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> In most cases, with only details provided by the client, he'd be able to deduce the truth without leaving his clinic. Of course, for those occasional tricky cases, he would also go to in go out to investigate. And now the real Mr. Detective is outside London, which makes us all wonder what inexplicable inexplicable case awaits at the end of this train. I, Dr. Watson, will be leading you. You can take a break from your tedious boasting, Doctor. Oh, so <laughs> so Fuwa isn't actually Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> um, this is work. It's very important to me, my dear Huwa. Oh, oh, I see. So it's not, it's not really that Sherlock Holmes, and uh, it's still all about the novel. <laughs> Conan, Conan Doyle is simply uh, speaking out loud. How could you call someone's work boasting? I think it's necessary to correct your ignorant opinion. Even if you made it high-sounding, I still stick up for my point of view. Holmes and Watson, why would you use such strange names for characters in the biographical novel? Strange? I don't think so. I think they're great names that complements each other, just like you and me. If you say so, Doctor. But I still have some questions. Why do I feel that this Mr. Holmes in your novel is like a composite of my personality and your mind? That's just a literary adjustment. Nature, alas, made only one being out of you, although there was material for a good man and a rogue. There are in me the makings of a very fine loafer, which would not make a very charming male character. I'm glad that you are at least self-aware. I... One last question. My nationality. I don't think you should respect for me when you made me British in your story without my consent. Oh, okay, so Conan Doyle is still male here. Of course, I respect you and your enigmatic culture, my friend, but you don't know the dilemma I face. You have to understand it. It's quite unorthodox for detective stories to include East Asian characters who are generally believed to be somewhat magic in the Western society. Please don't take it as a cultural prejudice. But it sounds exactly like a cultural prejudice to me. Come on, what do you expect me to think after I saw you smash a thick wall with your bare hands? <laughs> oh, there's also Rosemary here. Fine, I'll let you have this one. My name is Conan Doyle. As you can see, I'm a novelist. But other than this, there are another two distinct, distinct roles that I take on in my life. My clinic at 221B Baker Street has always been quiet. This so-called main profession of mine can barely pay the bills, which, though sounds pitiful, does not really bother me as I have sources of extra income to support my interests. My partner and flatmate seems to be famous among the Scotland Yard inspectors. This connection offers opportunities. We provide consulting services for the inspectors as a detective duo. I'm the brain and who was the muscle. For each case solved, our client gets all the credit and we get paid handsomely. We've solved a myriad of cases so far. Hence, more and more commissions are entrusted to us by Scotland Yard inspectors and even individual clients. In contrast, my clinic business is getting worse. I once asked who was opinion on the reason for my clinic's failure. Restrained and taciturn as she is, she always gives highly perceptive and insightful answers. If you were a patient, would you choose a clinic that is frequently visited by police officers? She said. <laughs> that does make a point. There is no, there is no way. Even if I were a patient, even I wouldn't want to go in a clinic 
deaths visited by police officers. Who knows? It's 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 probably I would probably think that it's shady as hell. <laughs> Uh, she does have a point. In my spare time, I'll write down my adventure stories based on the cases I've solved. And Mrs. Hudson, my landlady, found the manuscripts and posted them off to a publisher without consulting me. Unexpectedly, the stories became hugely popular after publication, hence I became a novelist as well. You can see it from here now. It was voice interrupted my thoughts. I looked out of the window in the direction of her gaze. At the end of the plains within sight, the dim outline of a great city can be seen. It's Saint Fontaine, the desolate city. Had it not been for the unexplained cataclysm happened five years ago, it might still be a li lively holiday resort. In the city, Old Moor Town and Mausoleum of Saad on Table Mountain had witnessed the ancient Mastang era. The Portuguese fort at the Cape of Good Hope used to harken back to the age of maritime exploration. And the Victorian-style Governor General's office was complemented by the 17th-century Baroque-style Dutch Wine Museum. But all these spec spectacular views no longer exist. Today, St. Fontaine is a dead city with severe Honkai pollution. The Honkai energy spawned countless Honkai bees rampaging around the city. To prevent the disaster from spreading, Lab 42 of Shiksal Imperial Institute spent three years to build anti-entropy, an effective security system in the city. And the commission were currently on came from this very research base station on the front line of the calamity. Are you sure we should do this? I'm well aware that you are not a hothead, but this case is just bizarre. I wonder if this Fuwa is is really the same in the, you know, our Fuwa. Because, you know, Fuwa has lived for a lot, lot longer. Yeah, she's lived for thousands of years. This, this is probably her too, right? I don't know. Well, Joyce, leader of Lab 42 of Schicksal Imperial Institute, even the own scientists Dr. Tesla and Dr. Einstein work for him. Such a big shot had to turn to two private detectives. Aren't you curious about the reasons behind? Not at all. But I'm indeed curious about the man, about the man named World. Her gaze fell back to the news in her hand, seeming to have forsaken her plan to talk me out of the commission. Did she just really say world, or does she mean wealth? I took out the baffling invitation letter from my pocket again. The rose is red, the violet is blue. Mary is sweet, and so are you. The rose is red, and Mary is blue. We were deceived, and so are you. I tried to figure out the connotations of these lines, but all I can see is a love poem. There is another message written on the back of the letter by the sender. If you have any clues about the hidden messages in this poem, please do come to the Wild Manor in St. Fontaine. Or is this just another bubble world? Completely separate from... From... From the original bubble world we, we are. I await your arrival. Wild Joyce. Oh, it's not... It's not Wild Yang. So is... This is probably different. The paper of the letter is a standard product made in Europe. It should be common stationary in the institute. But the but the one we saw earlier, the one who made a promise to the girl, I'm certainly for sure that was Welt Yang though. Though the handwriting was deliberately scratchy and messy, it's still apparent that it was written by a female. This letter was not written by Well Joyce, which is the only conclusion that can be drawn at the moment. We were deceived, and so are you. I was absently reciting the last line of the poem when someone in the corner of the carriage caught my eye. It's a stunning woman. She's sitting there quietly sipping at her tea. All noise seems to be quickly receding from the space around her. That woman is very dangerous. I don't think you need to be reminded. Um, of course I don't. I gave a light, a little cough to cover up the fact that I was fascinated by her for a moment. 
Actually, the fact that a retired female opera singer is on a trip to a dead city alone is already very suspicious. Retired opera singer? My partner finally put down the newspaper. Indifferent as she appears to be, she actually has a strong curiosity. What is your deduction based on this time? Clothing? Deportment? Or... Is her breathing. The way we and the vast majority of people breathe is called thoracic breathing. While singers of most music genres you normally use thoracic abdominal breathing. Except for opera singers. Who use abdomen abdominal breathing to make their beautiful vocals be heard against the symphony without loud speakers. Abdominal breathing relies on the lower abdomen to control the breathing and make it deeper and longer. It's not a skill that one can easily master. This, was, this woman's caught my attention from the moment I boarded this train. She effortlessly uses abdominal breathing at all times, which is uncommon even among opera singers. Oh, I see. So you've been checking on her since you boarded the train. I... <laughs> This dude just got busted. <laughs> no need to explain. To explain is an attempt to cover it up, which validates my assumption. Go on. I'm listening. And finally, her acting skills. Acting skills? Yes, her tears were presumably part of her acting in response to my self-talk that she picked up. And even I was aware, I still lost a heartbeat when I saw her tears. Who would have... Who would have such wonderful acting skills? I don't use this uh, battle suit of Rita very much. Except for one of the leading lights in the opera world. Am I right, Miss Irene Adler? Oh. You flatter me, Mr. Conan Doyle. I thought that Irene Adler... Isn't Irene Adler supposed to be a, a fictional character? Along with Sherlock Holmes? It's probably a code name. Or a, a fake name, I mean. Even though few people have seen you in person, your name will live forever with the stories of Holmes you wrote. Well, I'm just a back number off the stage. After my value has been fully exploited, I will soon be forgotten. You're talking in riddles, daughter. I understand you deduce from her breathing that she's an opera singer, but how would you know her name and that she's retired? It's very simple, Miss Fuwa. There's a picture of you printed on the back of the newspaper in your hands, under the headline news about my retirement. What? Irene Adler, the lead singer of the Tia... Wait, Teatro Cesarski of Warsaw. I'm sorry, I probably budgered that. Announce her permanent withdrawal from the stage. Allow me to introduce myself properly. My name is Irene Adler. I was also invited to visit Mr. Joyce like the two of you. I'm an old friend of his. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Dr. Watson and Mr. Holmes. I hope you have a cordial relationship as a team. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting confused with with the name Silver Hoodie. <laughs> A team? What are you talking about? The beautiful woman stood up and bowed her head to us. Meanwhile, the train started to slow down, which means we'll soon arrive at our destination. St. Fontaine, the desolate city. All right. I Iris of the dream. So I suppose this fallen fallen rosemary is actually all right. So it was. We we do have Irene Adler here. So I guess it was based on Irene Adler. Although I think I'll just be doing this uh prelude. When we walked out of the station, it has already become dark. This is strange. I was told someone would come pick us up at the train station, but there's no one here. This isn't right. It's not like we arrived late. Besides, 
The day's still early, but it's already so dusky. Is this normal in the city? It's said to be a result of the cataclysm. Since four years ago, the city's been shrouded in constant heavy rain that blurs the boundary between day and night. Impressive. You are indeed well informed, Mr. Doyle. Er, you flatter me, Miss Adler. I just did some research on the train. It seems no one is coming to pick us up. Do you have their contact info, Doctor? Unfortunately, no. They've been very circumspect. It's always been them reaching me, never the other way around, and the wealth meter does not show on the map. Don't worry, Mr. Doyle. This is not my first visit to Mr. to Mr. Joyce's meter. I can lead the way for you and Miss Fluwa. But if we encounter something unpleasant on the way, I'll have to trouble you two to protect me. What? Really? <laughs> no way. Are you sure? I can tell from your gait and breath that you're not as delicate as you look. You're a better fighter than doctor. Ahem, <clears throat> my dear Hua, if it's not too much to ask, could you not emasculate me in front of a lady? You flatter me, Miss Fuwa. I'm just a frail woman who only knows a few self-defense moves. Self-defense moves. Hmm, by the way, I was just stating an objective fact, doctor. Anyway, I guess... We have to trouble you to lead the way, Miss Adler. My pleasure. Oh, wait. We should split up and look into it. Oh. So those are Honkai beasts, right? That was my first time seeing them this close. That's not important, Doctor. The real problem is why would there be Honkai beasts near the train station? Isn't there any safe zone in St. Fontaine? This isn't right. In the past two years, the security system anti-entropy built by Mr. Joyce's lab has effectively restrained Honkai beasts in St. Fontaine from running wild. The Welt Manor in its vicinity, as well as several important areas, are all under the system's protection. Including the train station and its surrounding area. So you're saying, as we've already encountered Honkai Beasts, it'd be reasonable to assume the security system has failed, right? Oh. Oh. A wild roar answered my question for her. Sounds like it came from the neighboring street. Daughter, what do we do? Uh, how come we already got in such big trouble before we even arrive at our destination? Despite your complaint, you actually look like an excited child who just received a new toy, Mr. Doyle. Some things are better left veiled, e.g. certain self-defense moves that can kill Honkai beasts. Am I right, Miss Adler? Ha, ah, that's just some little tricks not worthy of discussion. Tea break is over, Doctor. Miss Adler. Sounds like the commotion in the neighboring street is still ongoing. Let's go check. Oh, so Fluwa is just simply going to follow us. Oh, right. Oh, those are... Ah, uh, those are probably the machines. Oh, isn't that... Dr. Tesla? That was close. Though I'm very grateful for your help, I still gotta carry out my duties first. Before I think you properly, I have to ask, who are you people? Why are you here? I started to observe this young lady standing in front of me. She is undoubtedly a beautiful woman who wears her fiery red hair into ponytails, with one on each side. 
The aggressiveness and alertness in her eyes are slightly counteracted by her aura of exceptional intelligence. I have never seen a female with such forceful and imposing presence in my life. She is simply the exact interpretation of the adjective confident, which reminds me of some rumors about someone. I'm honored to meet you, Dr. Tesla. What? The red-haired girl revealed a surprised look for a second, but she instantly straightened her face. I see. You are that novelist. Wait, no. That doctor? Or detective? Those are all me, Dr. Tesla, and this is my partner, Miss Fuwa. Nice to meet you, Dr. Tesla. And this lady here. Before I, f before I could introduce Miss Adler to Dr. Tesla, she already noticed a graceful figure be behind me. There has been a subtle change in her facial expression. She now looks a bit awkward and... scared? Hello, Frederica. Oh! Frederica? Is that Dr. Tesla's first name? Thank you so much for coming on such notice, Miss Adler. It's been a while. You seem to have become more adorable. Er, you're giving me a blush, Miss Adler. Now, there is something about you that makes me want to pamper you even more. Er, uh, don't come any closer. I'm not following their conversation, Doctor. It's okay. You're too pure to understand that. What? Shut up, Mr. Detective. <clears throat> Sorry, my name is Dr. Frederica Nicola Tesla. Oh, so it is her first name. Frederica Nicola Tesla, staff member of the Lab 42 of Schicksal Imperial Institute. I wanted to say welcome to St. Fontaine, but as you can see here, the city is really not a hospitable place. I've been meaning to ask what's with those Honkai beasts that we just met. As far as I know, this should be a safe zone under the protection of the anti-entropy system. How did they break in? I'll explain later. This is not a good place for conversation. Let's get in the car. I'll take you to Demeanor. Oh, so she was the one who was supposed to come pick us up. Rosemary. Okay, so uh, I guess I'll... Daily Investigation. Check it out. Welcome to Daily Investigation, which has two parts. Daily Investigation and... And EX stages. These stages belong to three groups and have becomes... And each becomes available on a scheduled date. Clear daily investigation station, get tokens based on time, cost, and progress. Every group of daily investigation stages has a token cap, which is shown on the stage entry screen. Every clearing of daily investigation stage boosts evidence level by one and enhances the Valkyrie in daily investigations and EX stages. Three daily investigation tickets are given every day and each clearing costs one ticket. Tickets cap at 10. Each stage group features one daily investigation stage and three EX stages. Clear EX stages to get powerful EX skills using the daily investigation stage at the group. Boost your evidence level and EX skills to become stronger. Okay, so, uh... This is just only fighting, right? So... Let's do this. Oh, I suppose I don't actually have to use Rita all the time. I guess there is no Conan Doyle. I think I, uh, I was mistaken. I think I mis I mistook Conan Doyle for Darwin here. Right. Anyways. Let me... Not anymore. Hmm. 
Event return. Oh, there, there's actually time. There's actually time. Oh, but even if I run out of time, I'm not, I'm not going to fail. It's a good thing. I think I need to bring out my best Valkyries here. New EX stages unlocked. Clear them for powerful EX skills. Soon. Every EX stage is unlocked at a certain evidence level. Better clear them first for powerful EX skills once they're unlocked. Conan Doyle. Oh, these are their... The first victim? Oh. Oh! Oh, that's right. We can- we can actually get this for- for Black Nucleus. Um, how long is this? Until next month. Alright. I'll I'll try my best to get one thousand. <laughs> all right, all right. So I guess I'll be doing this for for some time. Okay, so I guess I know what I'll be doing in the next in the next coming days. So, yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you for watching the video. Oh, this is our what thing. Right. I'll see you in the next video then.